Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, it's a quarterfinal match with Advanced Math and Science Academy taking on Needham High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. People take a lot of selfies, even after a fender bender. With Safety's quick estimate program, you can use the self-service process to get an appraisal, helping your car to be repaired. You can ask an independent agent about Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I when our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stand strong and does not stay silent when times get tough good speaks up join us for good this is what it sounds like hi everybody and welcome to high school quiz show i'm billy costa your host back in january teams from all over massachusetts competed at our virtual super sunday qualifying event 17 of those teams have earned a spot in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next high school quiz show champion. In today's match, direct from the comfort of their own homes, we have Advanced Math and Science Academy from Marlboro taking on Needham High School. And on the Advanced Math team, we have Kavi. Kavi, welcome back to the show. How are you today? I'm good. Well, congratulations for making it this far. How about you, Ashwin? How are you feeling? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? All right. You're set in place and ready to go. Andrew, how are you doing today? I'm feeling good. Okay. And Max, how about you? Feeling ready. All right. So that's the team. Alternates Maya and Sazmita are on the sidelines. Coach Jessica Bowen as well. And on the Needham High School team, hello, Harvard. Hello. How are you feeling today? All right. Doing pretty good. It is game time. Evan, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Aiden, how about you? I'm doing all right. Locked in and ready to go. Elizabeth, you? I'm doing amazing. All right. Everybody's feeling good. The alternate on the sidelines is Jay and coaches Ken Brook and Brad Walker. <laughs> So, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. Players have each been provided with a game interface to enable them to play from home. And we're going to start with a toss-up round. All players on both teams are active and with the correct answer can each contribute 10 points per question to their team score. In this round, there are no point deductions for wrong answers. A green light indicates a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer has been provided within the three seconds granted. So teams, if you are ready, good luck, and let's get started. What city holds the largest Mardi Gras carnival in the United States, New Orleans, Orlando, or Los Angeles? New Orleans. What science fiction novel is a sequel to Ernest Cline's 2011 bestseller, Ready Player One? Is it Insert Coin, Game Over, or Ready Player Two? Ready Player Two. What large cat can accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in just three seconds flat, which is faster than a Ferrari Enzo? Is it a lion, cheetah, or jaguar? Cheetah. Best remembered for playing Phyllis Lindstrom on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, what actress whose career spanned more than seven decades passed away in 2021 at the age of 94? Was it Betty White, Cloris Leachman, or Georgia Engel? Cloris Leachman. Take a look at your screens. Meaning statue in the local Rapa Nui language, what term refers to the massive statues of human heads seen here carved more than 500 years ago on Easter Island? Is it Tabu, Noah, or Moai? 
Moai is the answer. In 1843, what German philosopher famously said, religion is the opium of the people. Was it Karl Marx, Arthur Schopenhauer, or Friedrich Nietzsche? Karl Marx. When the Constitution was written, in most cases, the right to vote was restricted to white male landowners. What portion of the population could vote when George Washington was first elected president in 1789? Is it 6 percent, 12 percent, or 24 percent? 6 percent. Rows on the periodic table of elements are called which of the following? Groups, periods, or families? Periods. What former State Department spokesperson is the current White House press secretary under President Biden? Is it Simone Sanders, Jen Psaki, or Deb Haaland? Jen Psaki. Uh, take a look at your screens. Here comes the next question. Hi, I'm Shalom Onyx, actress, YouTuber, and illustrator of the Onyx family. And here's my question. Our new animated comedy series, Onyx Monster Mysteries, has been described as a cross between Ghostbusters and what animated franchise first produced in 1969? Is it The Flintstones, Johnny Quest, or Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo is the answer, meaning turned to stone. What term describes wood whose normal cells have been replaced with mineral deposits? Ossified, calcified, or petrified? Petrified. In 2020, actor Ellen Page came out as transgender. The Umbrella Academy and Juno star is now known by what first name? Elliot, Edward, or Ellis? Elliot. What is the most densely populated country in the world? Is it Monaco, Singapore, or Bahrain? Monaco. What star of Deliverance and Smokey and the Bandit was the nation's top box office draw at the peak of his career in the 1970s? Was it Paul Newman, Clint Eastwood, or Burt Reynolds? Burt Reynolds, the answer. Math question. Using pi in your answer, what is the area of a circle with a radius of 6? Is it 12 pi, 24 pi, or 36 pi? 36 pi. In Victor Hugo's Les Miserables, who is the daughter of Fantine? Is it Christine, Cosette, or Charlotte? Cosette. And the Rooney Rule requires NFL teams to interview minority candidates for head coaching positions. It's named after uh, Dan Rooney, the late owner of what football team? Buffalo Bills, Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens. Pittsburgh Steelers is the answer. Manufacturers like Henry Ford were hugely influenced by the innovative time and motion studies of what American engineer summarized in his 1911 publication, Principles of Scientific Management. Was it Frederick W. Taylor, Thomas Edison, or George Westinghouse? Frederick W. Taylor is the answer. And that's the bell. Ending the toss-up round, the score right now, Advanced Math and Science Academy, 410 points. Needham High School, 390 points. That is a very good round. Let's hear it, folks. Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a few minutes to chat with the players, to get to know the players a little bit better. I've got a question. You'll all get to answer it, and here it comes. The British royal family has been in the news a lot lately. If you could have tea with one member of the family, who would it be and why? We'll start with uh, Amsa. Kavi, how about you? I would probably choose the late Princess Margaret. Um, in her time, she was a trendsetter. And she did a lot of welfare work, and she was one of the first to marry a non-royal. So. Wow, nicely done. Ashwin, how about you? I would have tea with Prince George so I could find out what kids in the royal family do all day. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to know, huh? <laughs> Andrew, how about you? I'd love to have tea with the Queen's Corgis to see what it's like for dogs in the royal family. Nice. And Max, you? I would have tea with the late Princess Diana because I think she was a very interesting person and a free thinker. All right. Really nice mix there, Amps. So we're going to go over to Needham High School. 
tea with the Royal Harvard. Who's it going to be? Uh, I'd also have tea with the uh, Royal Pets because I think it'd be a lot more interesting than hanging out hanging out with corgis than uh, the Royals. <laughs> corgis versus the Royals. All right. And uh, Evan? I'm going to go a bit historical and pick King Charles I because I have a great interest in the English Civil War. All right. You're going way back. The way back machine, so to speak. And Aiden, how about you? I'm going to go like really way far back and say King John. Uh, at, because he led to like the first real constitutional government. It wasn't him who wanted it, but it, it was, I, I think he's pretty interesting. You've really given this some thought, haven't you, Aiden? <laughs> Elizabeth, how about you? Tea with a royal. I would definitely choose to have tea with Princess Charlotte because I believe that we would have objectively the best tea parties. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. We are going into the next round, which means we are going head to head. <laughs> As a reminder, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. However, incorrect answers now will result in a 10-point deduction. If a player does not provide an answer in the three seconds granted, there is no impact on the score. So teams, if you're ready, here we go. In 1857, James Pierpont copyrighted what song under its original title, One Horse Open Sleigh? Was it Sleigh Ride or Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells. Who was the Democratic Party's nominee for U.S. President in 2004? Was it Al Gore or John Kerry? John Kerry. According to the EPA, what is the primary greenhouse gas emitted through human activities? Carbon dioxide or methane? Carbon dioxide. What country was invaded by German troops on September 1st, 1939? Austria or Poland? Poland. Bruce Banner accidentally turned himself into the Hulk while experimenting with what type of rays? X-rays or gamma rays? Gamma rays. Uh, Jupiter and what other planet have the most moons? Saturn or Neptune? Saturn. Uh, the Madeira Islands in the North Atlantic Ocean are part of what European country? Portugal or Spain? Portugal. Rip Van Winkle is a fable about a man who falls asleep and wakes up how many years later? 10 or 20? 20. And oh, that's the bell ending the round. Now we take a look at the score. This is still a close match. Amps are right now 490 points. Needham High School, 440 points. Great job, teams. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Yes, we can. Lives of the Saints, set phasers to stun, battle cry, a fight's a bruin, and table that. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Once a team does select a category, they will be asked all five questions. Right answers will add points. Wrong answers will deduct points from the team's total. A decision to not answer will not impact the team's score. Once per category, the team can also choose to toss a question to the opposing team. A tossed question must be answered, and in this specific case, a no answer is the same as a wrong answer. Each team will complete two full categories. Yes, they can confer and will have 10 seconds to answer each question. We will need a spokesperson from each team. Amsa, who's it going to be? Max will be the spokesperson. How about Needham High School? Evan will be the spokesperson. Now, Needham High School, you have just a little bit of ground to make up. You get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Set phasers to stun might be Star Wars. It could be Star Wars. It might be. Do you want to do that? What do you think, Evan? Yeah, okay, set phasers yeah. to stun. Okay. Questions about science fiction for 10 points. Just follow me and run like your life depends upon it, because it does. Minho says this in what 2009 science fiction novel by James Dashner? The Maze Runner. 
Right. Yeah, this is Maze Runner, right? Uh, the Maze Runner, final answer. And Maze Runner is right for 10 points, for 15 points. Initially rejected by more than 20 publishers, what 1965 work by Frank Herbert is the best-selling science fiction novel of all time? This is Dune, right? Dune, right? Yeah. 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 Dune, final answer. Uh, Dune is correct. Now for 20 points, born Ursula Krober, who wrote the 1969 novel The Left Hand of Darkness, widely considered the first major work of feminist science fiction. This is Ursula K. Le Guin. Sure. Uh, Ursula Le Guin, final answer. And that's a correct answer. Now for 25 points. Uh, the 2018 book, So Say We All, is an oral history of what science fiction TV franchise created in 1978 by Glenn A. Larson and rebooted in 2004 by Ronald D. Moore. Uh, do you want to toss it? Yeah, let, do you want to toss it? I think it's, oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're, Evan, we'll toss that one. We're gonna toss. Uh, Amsa, do you have an answer? Isn't this Battlestar Galactica? Yeah, I, th I think you're right. Final answer, Max. Battlestar Galactica. And that is correct for 25 points. We go back to Needham High School for 30 points. In the Star Trek universe, the warp drive of the Enterprise is powered by matter antimatter reactions, which are regulated by what fictional rare crystals? Is it the lithium? Something like that. I That's a not fictional, though. Need a final yeah, answer, think... Evan. We don't have to. Say the lithium. Oh, the lithium. wait. No answer. No answer. No, no answer. answer. Okay. okay. The correct answer is the lithium. And now we come over to AMSA. You will need a category. AMSA, what's it going to be? Does Battle Cry sound good to you guys? Yeah. That yeah, sounds good. We will do Battle Cry. Battle Cry. Uh, questions about historic battles. For 10 points, the South suffered a crushing defeat at what 1863 battle in Pennsylvania that's generally regarded as the turning point in the Civil War? Gettysburg. Gettysburg, right? Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. All right. Gettysburg, final answer. And Gettysburg is correct. Now 15 points at stake. Uh, what 1815 battle marked Napoleon's final defeat and brought an end to French domination of Europe? Waterloo. 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 Max? Final, uh, final answer, Waterloo. Battle of Waterloo is correct. For 20 points, the U.S. Navy destroyed four Japanese aircraft carriers at what 1944 battle widely seen as the turning point in the Pacific? This is Midway. Midway? Yeah. Midway? Okay. Max? Midway, final answer. Battle of Midway. Now for 25 points, the Greeks defeated the Persians and established control of the Aegean Sea at what famous battle in 490 BC? Salamis. 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 Would that be Salamis? Yeah, Salamis. Yeah, I think it's Salamis. Okay. Max? Uh, Salamis, final answer. Battle of Marathon, the correct answer. Now for 30 points, though badly outnumbered, the English used their new weapon, the longbow, to defeat the French at what 1415 battle in northern France uh, during the Hundred Years War? Uh, this was Agincourt. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Agincourt, yeah. Agincourt. Final answer, Max? Agincourt. Agincourt is correct. And now we go back to Needham High School. And what's the category going to be? Do you want to do Bruins? I won't if you're good at hockey, that. I don't know. Like, any it's only about. if you're good at hockey, though. Yeah. Lies like, of the yeah. Saints, do you want that? We could try that. I just don't know how confident you guys would be on that. What do you think, Kevin? I feel Kevin? better at hockey. I feel better at hockey. Uh, fights sure. of Bruin. A uh, fights of Bruin. Questions about the Boston Bruins for 10 points. In August 2020, what Bruins goaltender left the NHL bubble in Toronto and opted out of the Stanley Cup playoffs in order to be with his family? Stuka Rask, right? I think so. Kevin? Uh, Stuka Rask. Final answer. Tuka Rask is the correct answer for 10 points. Now for 15. In December 2020, after 14 seasons with the Bruins, what towering defenseman and captain left Boston for the Washington Capitals? Uh, is Dino Chara. Mm -hmm. Chara, final answer. And that is correct for 15 points. Now for 20 points. In 2017, who replaced Claude Julien as head coach of the Bruins? Yeah, I don't know this one. Shoot. Uh, I'll need an answer, Evan. That's not tough. Let's just not give an answer, Evan. Yeah, no answer. No answer? Nope. Uh, the answer would have been Bruce Cassidy. 
And now for 25 points, what hockey legend who spent 10 seasons with the Boston Bruins is the only defenseman to ever lead the NHL in scoring? Bobby Orr, right? Yes, that's yeah, right. Bo Bobby Orr, final answer. Bobby Orr is the correct answer. And now for 30 points, Patrice Bergeron is the four-time winner of what trophy awarded to the NHL's best defensive forward, also known as a two-way forward? Uh, it's like the something cup. I don't know. Is it like? Do you want it? No, uh, we don't need an answer, you Evan. Toss yeah, every cup. yeah, just toss it then. Yeah, we'll toss it. We're gonna toss. Is it the Selka trophy? trophy? I've heard of that. Selka. Selka. S -E -L -K -E. I, yeah. I have no clue. Selka. Okay, right. I'll, yeah. I guess we'll have to go for, go for it. it. I don't. I don't know. Selka trophy. Final answer. That's correct. The answer is the Selkie trophy. So now we go back to AMSA, and I'll need a category. This table that, what could that be? I don't sure. Know. I don't know what it could be, but that sounds fine. All right. Category we'll max. Table that. Table that. Questions about the periodic table of elements. For 10 points, all organic compounds contain hydrogen and what other element? Carbon. That's carbon, carbon, right? Carbon. 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 Answer, Max? Carbon, final answer. Carbon is the answer for 15 points. Abbreviated GA, what soft metal has such a low melting point that like cocoa butter, it will liquefy on contact with your hand? Gallium. Sounds like gallium, right? Yeah. It's gallium. Final gallium, answer? Final answer. And gallium is correct for 20 points. Since the 1960s, what single element has dominated semiconductor fabrication for electronic components? Is it copper? copper? I, don't know. I think it's copper. Oh, no. Isn't it si silicon? Silicon, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That sounds, that sounds silicon, correct. It's yeah, silicon. it's yeah, a yeah. semiconductor. Final answer? Silicon. And that is the answer. Now for 25 points, what is the most electronegative and most reactive of all elements? A fluorine. fluorine. Fluorine, final answer. Fluorine is the answer. Now for 30 points, in 1955, American scientist Glenn Seaborg faced controversy for naming what new chemical element number 101 on the periodic table after a Russian? Oh, Mendeleev, maybe? Or like Mendel... Yeah. Oh, no. Mendeleevium. Mendeleevium, I think it's called. Okay. Mendeleevium, final answer. And that is a correct answer for 30 points. And that's the end of the category round, let's look at the score. AMSA right now with a total score of 695 points. Needham right now, 535 points. How about a great round here, guys? Okay, we are headed into the final round of play. It is the lightning round. All players on both teams are active. And with a correct answer, can add 20 points to their team's total. An incorrect answer will cost 20 points. And a decision not to answer within the three seconds provided will not impact the score. There will be 10 questions. And if everybody's ready, let's do it. What creatures from classical mythology are half man and half horse? Centaurs or minotaurs? Centaurs. Uh, what family ruled Austria for more than 600 years? Uh, the Battenbergs or the Habsburgs? The Habsburgs. Slate is an example of which major rock type? Sedimentary or metamorphic? Metamorphic. S.E. Hinton's novel, The Outsiders, is set in what U.S. city? Tulsa or Topeka? Tulsa. In the film Get On Up, Chadwick Boseman plays what legendary godfather of soul? Ray Charles or James Brown? James Brown. What large three-headed muscle is found on the back of the upper arm, the triceps or the trapezius? Triceps. What's the first name of the narrator in The Great Gatsby? Is it Tom or Nick? Nick. What language is the most widely spoken mother tongue in the European Union, German or French? German. An unfertilized human egg normally has how many chromosomes, 46 or 23? 23. What Broadway musical has the most Tony Awards in history, winning 12 out of 15 nominations? The Producers or Hamilton? The producers, the answer there. And that ends the round. The winning team this week.
advanced to Math and Science Academy with a final score of 995 points. Needham this week finishes with 695 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great a game. So now AMSA will advance to the semifinals where they'll play Belmont High School. Please join us next week for the semifinal match between Boston Latin School and North Quincy High School. Until then, don't forget you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. We'll see you all next week. Great round, guys. Great round. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. There's been a big increase in both home improvement projects and in home values, too. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance and make sure your coverage is keeping up. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org.